Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about another important question in terms of dietaries and uh, we will see about the various insights on how on the uh, architecture of dietaries because this can be one potential question that you can face. uh when it comes to the performance testing and your performance engineering experience on dynatrees uh so with no further ado let's go to the video and before uh, we move on to the video this is me avasan shanmugam i welcome you all to our little sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet so let's now see the question so the question here is um can you describe or how would you describe the architecture of dynatrees and its components so we have to uh, explain about the architecture and its components because this is uh, very important for you to know uh, the basics of the dynatrees like how does it work or what are all the components of the dynatrees so let's go to the answer and uh, before that let's give the interviewer a quick introduction on what is dynatrees and uh, what are the challenges it faces so Dynatrace is a comprehensive observability platform which is designed to provide real-time insights into the performance and health of complex software environments. And the architecture of Dynatrace is built to handle the challenges of modern, dynamic, and distributed applications, which we all know, because Dynatrace captures any, even every single metrics. Uh, on for any modern or dynamic applications or even distributed applications so let's now go to the components so the very first component is the one agent and uh, the core of the dynatrace is this one agent and everybody everybody else like we we all know that like that's the uh, core of the dynatrace and that is an intelligent agent which is deployed on each host within the environment which in the environment which we are going to test and one agent operates as at the process level which will monitor all the software services its processes and any dependencies without requiring any manual instrumentation and in fact the one agent captures the metrics and traces the transactions and collect the logs and it provides deep visibility into every component of the application and in fact we we even saw about uh, the uh, tracing of the transactions like how does it work in the previous video and if you haven't watched the video please do check the link and uh, when it when it comes to about uh, comes about the one agent so uh, let me give you an example so imagine you have a micro services based e-commerce application which is running on a cluster of servers and each server hosts multiple microservices for example it can be a product catalog or it can be a payment processing or it can be user authentication so with dynatrace's one agent deployed on each server it continuously monitors the performance of every microservice capturing metrics like the response times the throughput the error rate and for example um Uh, one agent on the payment processing service might detect a sudden increase in response time which is which will indicate a potential performance issue because this is something which you can tell the interviewer that uh, in the one agent and uh, for the payment processing service you are detecting a sudden increase in the response times which will so he might ask you like tell me give me an example of uh, of identifying or indicating a potential performance issue so in that case you can bring this example Um, he will he will be very very much impressed about this because if if you can tell them clearly like this is what i have observed that's what they need right that's so simple and uh, moving to the second component and so the second component is active gate and active gate serves as a communication hub between the one agent and the dynatrace platform and it enables secure data transmission and performs data aggregation and facilitates communicate and sorry uh, facilitates communication with the cloud environment and the remote locations and in fact active cloud also supports features like synthetic monitoring and allows for extension of integration points so let me just reiterate it so active gate is something like a hub mostly like a communication hub between the one agent that's the first component like we discussed the first component so it acts as a communication hub between the first uh, component which is the one agent and the dynatrace platform which is where we are going to uh, collate all the data 
and uh, when it comes to an example so this example will uh, help you understand more about this active gate so considering that you have an uh, you are you're testing an e-commerce application and which is deployed across multiple cloud regions to ensure high availability and scalability and this active gate acts as a communication gate between these dispersed environments and the Dynatrace cluster and it securely collects all the monitoring data from one agent which is deployed in different regions and aggregates the data and it sends it to the Dynatrace cluster for analysis right so since I have mentioned uh, about the active gate which is a uh, it's acts as a communication hub so it actually uh, and it's which connects the one agent and the uh, Dynatrace platform so it actually collects uh, monitoring data from the one agent which is deployed in different regions and aggregates the data and sends it to the Dynatrace cluster because that's the other communication point for analysis and active gates also supports features like synthetic monitoring and which allows us to simulate user transactions from various geographic locations to ensure consistent performance so that's all about the active gate so just a quick thing uh, it's a communication hub between the one agent and the Dynatrace platform so if you are able to tell that you are good and moving on to the third component which is the Dynatrace cluster so uh, the Dynatrace cluster forms the backbone of the Dynatrace platform which serves as the centralized data processing and analytics engine uh, it ingests data from one agent and other monitoring sources and performs a real-time analysis and applies AI powered anomaly detection and stores data for long-term analysis and reporting so the cluster architecture is designed for scalability for fault tolerance and for high availability so that's what the Dynatrace cluster does so just a quick uh, 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 just a brief about Dynatrace cluster so it ingests data from the one agents and other monitoring sources and performs the real-time analysis so that's one thing about the Dynatrace cluster so I'll, I'll give you an example about that Dynatrace cluster so that you can easily uh, uh, comprehend it so for an example so the Dynatrace cluster receives the monitoring data from active gate and process it in real time using the AI powered analytics uh, let's say uh, that Dynatrace clusters AI detects anomalies in the payment processing services response time and can correlate it with the increased traffic from a specific geographic region and the cluster source historical data which enables us to analyze the trends over time and identify performance patterns and additionally it provides insights into the impact of performance issues on user experience and business metrics such as conversion rates and revenue so that's all about the Dynatrace cluster and moving on to the next component that is the uh, management zone so what does management zone does so the Dynatrace allows for the segmentation of monitoring data using management zones so this feature is particularly useful for organizations with complex multi-tenant environments or regulatory compliance requirements and this management zone enables fine-grained access control which allows different teams or departments to access only the data relevant to them while maintaining data isolation and privacy and that's all about the management zone and coming to an example so suppose your e-commerce application serves customers in different countries and each are governed by distinct privacy regulations so you can use the uh, management zones to create separate monitoring environments for each region uh, which will which is like uh, ensuring the compliance with uh, local data privacy laws for example you might create a management zone for European customers and uh, restricting access to monitoring data collected from servers located in Europe to comply with the GDPR requirements <coughs> excuse me and moving on to the next component which is the Davis EI engine so the Dynatrace incorporates the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms through its Davis AI engine so we all know this is a very critical component so Dynatrace incorporates this AI and machine learning algorithm so this Davis analysis uh, analyzes the vast amount of monitoring data collected by one agents and the Dynatrace cluster to automatically detect performance anomalies and uh, it will help us to identify the root causes and provide actionable insights into to improve the application performance and reliability so when coming to an example 
Um, so when coming and talking about the example for this um, Davis AI engine, um, as a performance issues arises uh, in your uh, e-commerce application, this Davis engine automatically analyzes the root cause and provides actionable insights. Uh, for instance, uh, Davis might identify that the increased response time in the payment processing service is caused by a database bottleneck due to a search in the transactions, and it can even recommend scaling up the database resources to handle the increased load or optimizing database queries to improve the performance. So that's what the Davis AI engine does. And that's all about the Davis AI engine. And moving to the next part, which is the extensions. So when it comes to the extensions, um, Dynatrace offers a variety of extensions and integrations to enhance its capabilities and support additional use cases. And these extensions include integrations with popular DevOps tools, uh, cloud platforms, service mesh technologies, and much more. And they enable seamless integration with existing workflows and provide additional context for performance analysis. And uh, talking about examples, so Dendrace offers integrations with various DevOps tools such as Jenkins. Uh, we have integrated with it with Kubernetes uh, to streamline the development and deployment processes. For example, you can use the Kubernetes integration to monitor the health and performance of your containerized microservices running on Kubernetes clusters. And Dynatrace's integration with Jenkins enables us to incorporate performance testing into our CI-CD pipeline and ensure that code changes don't degrade the application performance. And that's all about the extensions. And finally, the last component, which is the user interface and APIs. So when it comes to the user interface and the API, Standardrace provides a user-friendly web-based interface for visualizing, monitoring data, configuring, alerting rules, and accessing analytical insights. Additionally, it offers comprehensive APIs for programmatic access to monitoring data, enabling automation, custom reporting, and integration with third-party systems. Uh, for example, like, uh, you can visualize the monitoring data collected by the Dynatrace through its user-friendly web-based interface. And in fact, the UI provides interactive dashboards, uh, customizable charts, and drill-down capabilities to explore performance metrics and trends. Additionally, you can use Dynatrace's APIs to programmatically access its monitoring data and automate tasks such as creating custom reports or integrating with the IT service management. So overall, uh, Dynatrace's architecture is designed to provide end-to-end -end visibility, automated uh, problem detection, and intelligent insights to help the organizations optimize the performance, availability, and user experience of their applications and uh, service in today's dynamic and complex environments, IT environments. So by leveraging all these uh, components, Dynatrace's architecture and components, so in fact, in this example, so you can effectively monitor, you can analyze and optimize the performance of your e-commerce application and ensuring a seamless user experience and maximizing the business outcomes. That's all about the architecture and the component of the data trace. So I wish you all the very best for your interview and uh, we'll meet in another video. Until then, it's bye-bye from Vashan Shanmugam and your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel.